Lord, this task is too heavy. I'm so tired. Can you just give this to somebody else? Lord, take this pain away. I can't take it any longer. Lord, I don't want this anymore. Take it out of my life. Several times in my life, I have uttered these prayers, yet find them unanswered. And sometimes there's even this added pressure with the thought of, because I'm a Christian, I should be okay. I should be able to do this. But deep down, the reality is, this is not the case. We still find ourselves weak. We find ourselves in pain and suffering. We find ourselves in these challenging situations that we can't get ourselves out of. And so we ask, am I not praying hard enough? Or is God not listening to my prayers? Why is He allowing me to go through all these? You know what? The Apostle Paul also found himself in a similar situation when he had a thorn in his flesh and three times he pleaded the Lord to take it out. But in 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9 and 10, it says here, But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. For the sake of Christ, then, I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities. For when I am weak, then I am strong. You know what? Paul's prayer wasn't unanswered. It was just answered differently than the way he expected it to be. When Paul was asking God to take the thorn away, God's answer to him was not to take it away, but to give him his grace. Similarly with us, our prayers will sometimes seem unanswered because God's ways will be different. And there will be moments in our lives that God too will not take us out of the situation, but rather give us the grace so we can go through it. So that in our most trying times, we can find his grace sufficient and that He allows us to go through these so we will know that it's not by our own doing, but by the power that was made perfect in our weakness. Grace. We have all that we need in His grace. It is enough to carry us through in the situations that we're in. So it's okay for us to not be okay at times, to feel weak, to not be able to do things, but it doesn't mean we have to stay there for God's grace is available for us even at our lows, especially at our lows. And when we feel weak, when we are surrounded by trials, when things feel like they're falling apart and we're at the end of our ropes and God doesn't take us out of it, know that these are opportunities where we get to experience how God's grace is enough. And even when we're now in a better state, know that it is still His grace that brought us there. Through His power, strength was imparted to us so we were enabled to bear it all. The story then will not be about us, for the story will be about how God's grace got us through. And God gets all the glory. And so my hope and prayer for us is that we all find God's grace sufficient in our lives. And just like Paul, we get to say, when I am weak, I am strong. Have a graceful day.